Well, what we're doing is we're going back and we're kind of patching up, back dragging, cleaning everything up, working our way out. Uh, look at all that grass are growing. I got into the daggone sock, tore the sock up over here when I was back dragging his section. I had tight shut and we got to get a couple, couple little, we got some short pieces here and there. We got to throw a couple short pieces in here and there. It's just uh, back dragging this section through here. It got a little tight. But we're patching it all up. We got Chase. Chase is hauling on the heel with us, bringing it to us. And then I think Bo is going to start bringing it some more and dropping it off down at the bottom of the heel. <clears throat> Dang, on that mosquito big enough to carry me off. Um, so that's kind of what we're into today. I'd love to get all the road patched and get all the road fixed first or shoot today and then tomorrow here comes my service truck and then tomorrow i'm gonna stop him and get me some daggone window cleaner can't see nothing out this time then uh tomorrow we're just hopefully gonna we gotta put a couple extra socks down here and there and, and uh he'll stick a knife in his pig as we say he's a knife in his pig but we'll try to get everything done, get everything moved out of the way. Here they come. Okay, folks. Well, we uh, we didn't get all the way done with patching the road up, but we're really close. Uh, I need to be getting out of here. I still got to go and unload a trailer and reload some material up and stuff tonight, so... I've still got a pretty, pretty eventful evening. I'm gonna drive off the hill here and grab Oak, and then I'm gonna come back up and get my skid steer and bring my skid steer off the hill. We're gonna park everything down at the bottom, but we got about everything patched in down through here. Basically, it's just all the rough spots, and about every rough spot is gonna be right around near a water bar. And what happens is those trucks go down in those water bars, and that shock, of uh, the truck going down all of a sudden it'll just gut it just guts these roads but i have to have the water bars in the road while i'm building the road because it's part of the sediment control usually typically we don't put them in there usually that in that sock again over there typically we don't put them in there until we get done with the road but of course according to the regulations that's what i have to do so that's what i'm doing i've had uh, i've had dylan on the roller all day just about all day. That's what Dylan's been doing. Dylan's been on the roller, and Dylan, Dylan's been doing great. Uh, he's a good, good kid, real good kid. He's not like typical 18 years old, 18 year olds. He listens, and I really think he's wanting to. I think he's wanting to try to do something. Probably spoke too soon. Now he's probably stuck in a ditch or something. Oh, there's Oak coming up. He's doing all right. He's uh, he's a good kid though, and uh, I really like him, and I hope he sticks around with me and stuff, so that way I can um, that way I can use him, you know, and train him out and get him get him where he needs to be and get him doing good. Um, Oaks come up here to get this deck on truck. I know that's what he's doing. He's come up here to get this truck. So I was coming down to get him. Anyway, y'all uh, stay tuned there, and let's get something going.
Well, it's uh, Saturday. We had a we had a really really long trying day today. Me and Chump, my old buddy Chump, my best friend Chump, there. He really jumped in there and helped me. We got everything back. Um, we got everything back except the the 130. The 130 is still sitting in uh, Leslie's up in Cross Lanes. I'm gonna go get it Monday or whatever day I can get a chance. I'm gonna go up and get it. We got about a couple weeks wait on permits for the next job and I'm gonna try to get caught up on some small work but I got uh, I got the straw blower and forks and extra pipe and stuff there we got the one the little 30 all kinds of stuff on that we got it all down here uh, the 700 of course you see me unload it the skid steer the rollers out front uh, we got we got uh, big blue here uh, tractor, and then we got the, the the new green and white T800 too. So let's get this thing backed in out of the way. Well, this is the end here. Uh, made them a turnaround. That's where they're coming up a hill. And made them a turnaround. We're gonna go off a different way, just so I don't have to track back up that road. I don't know though. We should turn around and go back. Anyway. Oh man. Hang on just a second. Okay. We're going down off a hill now. I done took all my pictures coming up. Um made a pretty good road job. Uh 80, 150 feet. So this right through here is where I took all them trees out on the last video. These are little water bars. We're getting ready to go through them. You'll see the front. There's, there you go. That's the, we've got to put them water bars in there. When water runs down the middle of that road, it gets in that water bar and it kicks it over in the ditch. Right over there is where we chipping all that brush and stuff. This has all been seeded and mulched real good. Um, must have a sensor bad on my truck. So I keep saying low coolant. And I know the coolant ain't low. I've been checked it a half a dozen times. This right through here was where the road was kind of skinny and had a huge dip in it right here. We took all that dip out. Uh, took a bunch of rock and stuff out of this side. This is a beautiful road job. 
one of my one of the biggest roads I've ever built, rebuilt, whatever you want to say it. I pretty much built this one. Most of this road was it wasn't raw land per se, but it was definitely definitely uh, it's not really the only way you could access this road was with the four-wheel drive, and even then you were bottoming out a lot. Oh, sorry about the jerking around do much GoPro like I used to, just uh, aggravating with getting the footage edited and put over into format where I can share it. It's just it's aggravating as the day is long, so I just about quit doing you GoPros. I'm just going to kind of do a drive-through real quick, just kind of let you guys see the complete finished product. This, this here was all canopied up. We took all the canopy off with the mulcher Reditched it, recambered everything, redressed it, put the straw mat in the ditch, and blowed mulch and seed, or blowed straw mulch on, on the rest of it. It's starting to really green up from here down. It's really greening up. Been on this job for about eight weeks, seven weeks, so it's slower to reclaim the places because we haven't been that long since we reclaimed it. It was a soft spot through here. We dressed it up pretty nice. This road will actually get better and better, firmer and firmer as time goes on, because it's that ditch is gonna wick all that moisture out of that soil. And then the Crusher Run 307, it'll uh, it'll bar out and mat out your uh, your moisture levels from going into the ground. So it'll just keep getting drier and drier and drier. This area through here was kind of troublesome. This was all rock. A little access road. A little access road they've been kicking up going up through there for deer season. See, deer season starts here for long, so this area will be polluted with traffic. And you ain't gonna keep people out. I mean, they've been traveling this since they were kids. Just because we come in here and work on this road, it don't mean anything to them. They're gonna, the only thing we do is just make it easier for them to come up in here. Guys, we're out here putting up some security fencing. A little bit skimpier on the 307s in that area, but I think it'll be okay. It's compacted well. I think she'll sit still. Beautiful road job. Beautiful project. It was really soft through here. This dirt through here is garbage. It ain't nothing but that old brown Loomis clay. I think she really turned out nice. I think she turned out really nice. I'm driving about about 15 miles an hour. That's about my speed, so the tree limb got broke out. This turned out nice. Got one big switch back up here. This is the intersection. This will be the end of cell phone service. Once you go around this curve right here, you don't have any cell phone service. So most of the time when people come up there, they park. All of it's been silk socked. We widened this curve, dug out all this dirt, built, I built all this curve. This was so that steep, you couldn't hardly get around it. You come around through here and you just almost done a vertical climb. Just down through here was the uh, last little bit of the dirt going down. And then we get back into hard rock. Hammer. All this down through here dug out. Ditch turned out really nice. I wouldn't want to have to start this job over again, I can tell you that. I'm ready to go on to somewhere else. It's been good work, though. I, I really enjoyed it as far after I got it done. I really enjoyed it. Look back and enjoyed it. When I was doing it, thought I was getting to be. That's all rock. All that's rock. Hammered out, cut out. This, I think we worked for a week right in here. We worked a week, only went 250 feet. Another water bar. There's a water bar at every culvert by design. Which is really 
really been a good looking project. this old truck I ain't got any fuel in my tank either so once it starts to bounce it's almost like a basketball water bar up here yeah that's probably one of the smoothest ones I had this was that slip area that they kept complained about so we backed up and fixed it with some straw matting it sent the steel really good it done really good this part of the road here was really nice this actually didn't, I mean, it tore up a little bit, but it wasn't too bad. This one water bar right here, it, it took a beat, and we fixed it back. Everything looks good. Zero sediment. Erosion eels, we gotta pick all that stuff back up, all the erosion eels and then silk sock on the left, or right, that's all gotta come back up. This water bar in right here took a beat. It was, it was gone, we actually put it back. Guys are down here at the bottom of the hill. All right, and that concludes our road. This was done.